What's up? This is Squirt2448, where phones going to sound team auto reviews. Today, we'll be taking a look at a few emergency vehicle updates, a few semi trucks, and a few excavators. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 2017 Ford F250 Extended Cab XLT. This one is a chief truck here. Now, for the updates to this version, we have a few different push bars, LED lights here in the front grill. When you do come around to the side, there's a few different skins with the buyable options, and you now have the option here for this cap here on the bed. Now the doors actually open up on this which is pretty cool and part does kind of slide out so we'll be taking a look at that. Once we hop here on the inside view it goes 75 miles per hour. Very nicely done. Big shout out to r r apparatus for making these emergency vehicles. He's been making quite a lot of them even a police car which is pretty cool but you guys can see all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool with B, N, and M all of the emergency lights turns on. As you guys can see there are lights there on the cap, which is pretty cool. And overall, this thing really does look nice. And on the front, you guys can see grill lights there also. And the headlights flash. But overall, very cool truck on the first person view, working steering wheel. Now, it actually does tell you what lights are on, which is pretty cool. You guys can see very nice laptop. You guys can see radio down there. And with key uh, 7, you could actually turn these lights on, which is pretty cool. Very nice. And then these also do light up when you do of all of the lights on but very nicely done truck can't wait to add this and feature this here in more videos but i really do like the cap up next we'll be taking a look at another 2017 this is a f-250 xlt extended cab ambulance now both ambulances were updated and all of the doors work now on this which is pretty cool we'll be taking a look at all of them but as you guys can see very nicely done here on the textures like i was saying i actually just showed both these in previous reviews but now the these are updated. So let's kind of take a quick look at all of the different lights on it. You guys can see all of the lights do work, turn signals, everything like that. And then B, N, and M will turn on all of the emergency lights. You guys can see updated lights, added those down below. I really do like those. Those do look pretty cool. But you guys can see very nicely done. Next up, we'll be taking a look at all of the different ones with Q and R. Both back doors open up. Take a look at that. With six, you could actually take out a stretcher. Now that is pretty epic to have a stretcher come in and out. So you guys can see that is awesome. I'm not exactly sure how to kind of put that back there on the inside, but it does have a ton of different options now. With J and K, we'll turn on these extra lights there on the back, which is pretty cool. And there's just so many different door options. You guys can see over here, doors open up. G and H open up doors there on either side. So, so many different things. And I really do like having all of these different options. It really does give us a variety and different things that we could do and like I was saying guys looks like I will do over here and you guys can see a few of them are opening up take a look at that just so many doors that you can open up so that is pretty epic now you could actually kind of put things over here which is pretty cool but take a look at that guys you got a stretcher in all of those lights like I was saying big shout out to r and r apparatus for releasing that which is pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look at a few semi trucks the first one here is a 379 flat top very nicely done peter built now it is here in only one color i think i will be making this color changeable but you guys can see very nice it is a very long one but it's pretty cool and it does have a few custom things it does not have a bumper pull hitch you guys can see nice lights here in the back and overall these wheels i really do like these a lot and this wheel does also turn which is nice you guys can see two giant gas tanks there on either side nice diamond plates and a dual exhaust with a little bit of a curb once we hop here on the inside view all of the lights do work take a look at that reverse lights everything like that which is pretty cool when you do press x you could actually raise up that axle if you do not want it but like we're saying guys it does turn there which is nice i really do like that option especially since like we're saying it's a very long truck on the first person view it does have working mirrors and a working steering wheel along with working gauges which is nice and it will now be taking this for a spin we are here on the square farms map this map will be released very soon i am working out the last few hours hopefully it will be released this friday but i will be having an update very soon on if it will be but you guys can see this is pretty cool really do like it a lot and the turning radius is a bit challenging since it is a bit longer but like i was saying overall very nice truck and i definitely will be making this color change well to go along with maybe the haul that i'm hauling or just the different shops
I would like to thank all of the modders for releasing these epic mods. It looks like the modding are kind of slowing down here for FS17 mod release wise. So we'll be featuring a lot of FS19 ones also. Up next we'll be switching over to a cab over semi which is a scan here. You guys can see upgraded lights up top. A few extra fog lights. Take a look at all these options. I really do like these cab overs. Now the rims on this are also color changeable. Now when you do come around to the back. No bumper pull hitch but you guys can see pretty interesting lights. I really do like the back of this also. Once we hop here on the first person view, it does have a light bar up top, which is nice, and all of the lights do work on this, which is nice. Now let's kind of take a quick look at it. Take a look at all of those guys. Very nice. You do have an extra axle turning there. And on the first person view, we, you guys can see working gauges, working steering wheel, and working mirrors. We really do like this lot. You guys can see GPS over there. I mean, this thing does look very nice. Take a look at that. Overall, like, great first person view. We'll take this for a spin, see how it handles now usually with cab over semis we do get a little bit more body roll than regular ones but i think that that is overall okay if you do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature here in reviews let me know down below in the comments i will be trying to feature more equipment wise maybe tractors farm equipment and more trailers and also kind of uh, test them out kind of in the farm field so let me know if we should do that but overall we got to see very nicely done this thing really does handle awesome Up next, we'll be switching over to Excavators, and the first one we'll be taking a look at today is a Bobcat Mini Excavator. This is the E45. Very nicely done. There was actually one released before, but this one it is even better. I really do like the textures on it. Great work. Big shout goes to the creator of it, and you guys can see this is pretty cool. So like I was saying, guys, totally reworked, and I really do like this version. Now, the tracks work. Take a look at that turning radius. Awesome job there, and you guys can see this thing does look pretty cool. So you guys can see everything does work on it. It does turn back and forth top speed of four miles per hour now everything does work let's kind of see i'm not sure exactly how to put the blade down it looks like both mouse controls we'll put it down take a look at that that is nice and then you guys can see this will spin you could change the camera views to have it spin it or first person view i really do like all of those but you guys can see take a look at that i mean this entire thing does work and move around which is nice now four lights you guys can see it does have three lights there which is nice and this is a bit on the smaller side for an excavator but it's perfect for landscaping. Up next in the final mod we'll be taking a look at today is a Volvo Excavator. Now this one does have a claw over here which is pretty cool and there is a second version that you could buy with a giant arm if you wanted to kind of dig pretty deep. We'll hop here on the first person view and take a look at it. Now you could actually hide the bucket with Z and kind of remove the collision if you would like. I really do like that a lot. Now I'm not exactly sure how the claw works on this. Hopefully we could get it to work. Maybe pick up rocks. I think that that'll be a pretty cool thing but you guys can see everything does work on it one beacon light also like I was saying, guys, turning on this is very nice, even though it is big. You guys can see great turning, and this thing does look pretty cool. Take a look at that working mirrors, and everything does work on this, which is nice. And great first person view, which is overall awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. But like I was saying, they will be a bit slower now with slower mod releases. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.